Hi, I'm Carrie Kirkham, and you are Sipping with the Wine Fox. With me today is 2015 Carol Shelton, Peaceland Vineyard Zinfandel. It is from the Fountain Grove District, AVA of Sonoma County. It is 14.8% alcohol, $35 from the winery. Now, Peaceland is a translation of the German vineyard owner's last name, which is Friedland. This Zinfandel consists of three different Zinfandel clones, Duprat, St. Peter's Church, and Costa Magna. Pretty interesting. Oh, and there's also a touch of Petite Syrah. So, what's interesting is that I paired this Zinfandel with a California take on a dish called Sauerbraten, which is a beef dish, a German beef dish with a rich um, red wine sauce. It paired perfectly, but it was just coincidental to find out that the vineyard owner has a German last name. And this paired beautifully with the Sauerbraten, by the way. Um, so this wine underwent a six day cold soak prior to primary fermentation. It spent 16 days on the skin total. So that's a nice low and slow fermentation in bins, punched down by hand, no pump overs. This is a handmade wine made the right way. It spent 18 months in barrel, 60% new American oak one to two year old French oak barrels. So what's it like? So right when I put this to my nose, it's like pressing your nose against a perfectly ripe, dark skinned plum that you just plucked off a tree. I've done it. I know what it smells like. Oh, I could just picture it. I get, I get licorice root. I get bay laurel. I get vanilla bean. The nose on this and it's so it's so clear and the melange is just wonderful all the great aromas oh, I just want to sit and sniff it this is one of those aromatherapy wines okay there's not much left this is the precious bit that's left my father-in-law and I really enjoyed this one it was gorgeous mm. That was him coughing in the background just now. <laughs> anyway, medium plus body. Again, it's like biting in through the skin of a juicy, dark skin plum. Oh, I get fresh raspberry, dark chocolate. That licorice comes through, but I also get a bay laurel, bay leaf, like a bay, like a Turkish bay leaf, maybe. A little bit of vanilla bean in the finish, no doubt from the um, from the oak, but it's not oaky. It's spicy, aromatic, beautiful, not woody. Oh, beautiful. $35. It's like, please take my money. Give me another bottle. <laughs> it's, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, 2015 Carol Shelton Peaceland Vineyard. Um, full disclosure, I'm a club member. I pay for my wines. I love her wines. And today is July 3rd. It is before the 4th of July holiday. And I woke up at 4.30 this morning to go to work early. Um, I sell wine and liquor for a living. And it is a fantastic job. I love where I work. But I had to get there early and I had to work really hard. And then when I drove home, it took me more than two hours to get home. And it should take like 45 minutes. So terrible traffic. I came home really hot, really tired. And so I took off my work shirt. This is my undershirt. And I said, God, I, what do I want to drink? I want to drink something. I thought about it. I thought about it. And... The first thing I thought of was, I need a Carol Shelton wine because that is a sure thing. And so I grabbed this and it was fantastic. So wonderful. I really love her wines. Check out her website. Um, again, I don't get paid for it. I'm a club member. I pay for her wines. I love her wines. 
fantastic wines. Uh, and I will no doubt be buying another bottle because I really enjoyed this bottle. And to that, with an empty, well, with a totally empty glass, I say cheers and carpe uvum.